lucky. This is just, it's just, this is lucky. I think it was really good for me working at Columbia because they trusted me. No one's giving kids in their early 20s millions of dollars to make pictures. <laughs> black kid from South Central and they're giving me, you know, all this money to make movies. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to write as much as I can. I'm going to call up my friends and seduce Janet Jackson into making a movie. I was like really gun ho to really do it in a different way. You know, I'm happy that the picture now still has a following because I didn't really expect any of that when I was making. I was just trying to make a really good movie, continuing my career. Ugh, why you don't ever want to have no fun no more? I was inspired to write Poetic Justice because after Boys in the Hood, I really wanted to do something that was lighter form. I wanted to show the neighborhood and South Central in a different light. Well, go ahead and make your seatbelts click, baby. We follow all safety guidelines around these parts. Y'all just hold on. I just started thinking about characters, and I was like, you know, what about the girls? What about the women? What about the women that live in, in these neighborhoods? When you gonna get a man sporting black, looking toe up from the floor, don't make time to do your own hair, you can always tell when a woman ain't giving up no coochie. The young women, and what are they going through, and how are they surviving and loving, and, you know, how are they living their life? Well, that was my genesis for the idea of writing Poetic Justice. And why are you always wearing these hats? What are you hiding? Uh-uh, oh, girl. You want? Give me my hat back. I got new growth. Put it back on. You need to let me do something to their head. What y'all doing? Be honest. Looking for some buses to Jack. I think Point of Justice, I was more relaxed as a filmmaker than I was in Boys in the Hood. And I'm trying to experiment with different things. As you watch the picture, you'll see that I'm still learning as a filmmaker. I'm trying different things with the character, and I'm trying things with my direction and the editing. Do you love me, baby? Of course I love you. Tell me why. Because you're fine. Oh, that's deep. That's real deep, because I'm fine. Okay. I'm only 24 years old, you got to remember, and I'm, like, trying to figure out how, really, to still make a film. I'm learning. All I wanted to do was become a better filmmaker, and I was so serious as a young man. I want to be taken seriously as a director. I think I was kind of too serious, but I was really concerned with trying to lay a path for myself as a filmmaker where my name would be synonymous with a certain type of picture. And I aspired to that. I wanted to be taken seriously as a filmmaker. Justice, I was just thinking, the reason why I love you is I was in the county jail. You sent me all those nice poems. Because I had so much success with Boys in the Hood, I knew that my second movie had to be decent. So I knew I needed a star to open my movie. <laughs> Come here, baby, I want to whisper something to you. Touch me here, touch me there, touch me everywhere, I don't care. Cause I want you. Let me tell you the story about how Janet Jackson got into Poetic Justice. I was wandering around the Sony lot, and then Janet Jackson comes on a tour. I see Janet, and you know, she's talented, she's a singer, but people don't really understand that Janet started as a child actor. I thought you were in love. Well, you thought wrong, Jesse. She was acting with her brothers, and she was on Good Times. And so I was like, wow, you know, you, you haven't done a movie. And she's like, no, I haven't, but I want to do a movie. I'm just trying to think about what kind of movie to do. And I said, you know, I got a movie for you, right? Now, mind you, I did not have a movie for Shannon when I told her that. But I'm a director, so, you know, you see a talented actress that you want to work with, you go to pitch her. And so I was like, I'm going to get you a script. And so she gives me a number. Janet Jackson gives me a number, right? Within a week, I had the idea for it, and I started writing it. You know what your problem is, don't you? Oh, so suddenly I got a problem. Oh, yeah, you got a problem. What's my problem? You make bad choices in men. Her saying she wanted to do a movie with me just really, really drove me, because I think I wrote this script like in less than two weeks. Because if I get Janet Jackson the movie, I got another hit. Who better to have someone who is a, a star that hasn't done a first movie? And that was Janet. It's 
Tupac got in the movie because Ice Cube was supposed to star opposite Janet Jackson. I go to Ice Cube and I say, I want you to be in a romance. He says, man, I can't do that. I don't, I'm, I'm not a romantic guy. So Cube turned me down and I had just saw Juice. I would call up Tupac and I was like, I want to do a movie with you. And he's like, what? You know, Tupac and I are only two years apart. And I was like, yeah, I think we could do some good work together. He's like, yeah, man, so we met up. You want to do a move with me? He said, yeah. I said, you want to do a move with Jan Jackson? He said, hell yeah. What do you want from me? You can start with your phone number. I'm probably the only dumb person in Tupac's life to ever tell him, you're not that good of a rapper. You know, you should just act. Forget that rap stuff. And he was like, man, you know, f you. <laughs> Why are you always so mad? You must ain't got no man because you don't never smile actually said music is my life. I gotta do my music. I'm a rapper, I'm a rapper. I love hip hop, hip hop is my life. But he was a natural actor and people don't really understand that he studied acting in high school and he did plays in Shakespeare in high school. Now you kinda quiet, huh? Guess so. Your nails are so dirty. It's only 20 years old when he did Poetic Justice, but he was a natural, natural actor. Why are you so mean? For me, he was my Robert De Niro. If he hadn't passed, he and I would have done umpteen movies together, and you know, he had plans to become a director himself, and, and he was actually supposed to star in Higher Learning, the next movie. He get kind of stubborn sometimes. This movie is very close to my heart because I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something I call a street romance. And the great cinematic romances that have happened in history, you have to have a kind of a crackling sexuality between the man and the woman, no matter what it is. You know, even if it's understated. What's your name? Bucky. Lucky. Yeah. I wanted to continue to have that idiom of doing something that was realistic, but also having characters that could be lighter. Come here, Lucky. I want to whisper something to you. Part of me wanted to make something that I could play around with humor. You want to smell my punani? Hmm? Yeah. But I wanted to show characters from South Central Los Angeles falling in love. Look, I got to tell you something. I'm only telling you this because I care about you, and I think you should know before we go any further. I was like, black people fall in love. <laughs> Point of Justice, it's a very unique story. It's rooted in the harsh realities of the street. There's also kind of a cathartic feeling to see that these people who are in these very hard environments are having some type of catharsis, emotional catharsis, and able to free themselves to, to be together and to love. It's kind of universal in that way. Take a chance, baby. Do something different for a change. I'm really happy that I've had the career that I have had. I really, really appreciate it, being able to start at a, at a very early age and learn to be a, a motion picture director. When I was going on the journey, I didn't really think about the fact that cinema and becoming a, a director was opening doors for, for a whole generation of other people to, to create their own works. This thing is all about lineage, you know? I wouldn't have the career that I, I've had if Spike Lee hadn't come along. I think you kind of fly. For me, I just really like to make pictures that are gonna resonate with an audience's emotion in some way. And that's, that's always been my goal. What do you write about? Whatever's in my heart. What's that?